Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those who are still new here, my name is Victoria and this channel is all about documenting my week to week updates on renovating my shower room, my bathroom. Um, so make sure you check out week one video just to see how we started uh, before we kind of got to this mess almost. Um, so I hope you guys have all had a really, really productive week. My week hasn't been as productive. I think my husband and I had a huge adrenaline, adrenaline rush when we first started the renovations. And week two, we kind of took more of a backseat, slowed down a little bit. Um, so we haven't done as much as we would have liked to do, but we have done a few things. So make sure you kind of watch this video to see what we've been up to. Next week, we definitely will be able to do everything that we need to do. I think we wanted to, or I wanted to have the walls plastered and everything prepped for, um, for the tiling and the fitting of all the fixtures. But I have to remember that I have two kids and, you know, my husband works. And even though I'm at home, I'm on maternity leave. There's still lots of things that I'm doing at the same time. So I'm trying to take my time. Um, so this is going to be a really nice journey that you're going to be on with me. Yeah, so make sure, you sub make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video as well. Give it a thumbs up. There's going to be much more things that I'm working on. I'm working on a radiator cover, which I'll be sharing, and the bedside table as well, which I'll be sharing. And we're also making over a few rooms. So our bedroom we're making over and also the hallway. So lots and lots of exciting new product, products and um, projects sorry, coming up. So make sure you subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you soon. So the first thing that needed to be done was to rip out this old plasterboard. So this was a wall that was um, added once we did a renovation for the bathroom. And because the tiling was on the plasterboard, once we removed the tiles and the adhesive, it ripped out some of the boards. So the whole wall needed to be replaced. Um, it was quite straightforward. All I needed to do was find some of the hidden screws, use my screw, um, use my drill to unscrew it and yeah, just pull out the rest of the board. So super straightforward, this job. So this plasterboard has now been removed. Um, we're going to remove all the nails that are just stuck here. Um, so we're just going to take out all the nails and remove the floor. And that's it. This is so hard to take up. I'm trying to... Maybe should I try a screwdriver? Because he's drilled... So he's nailed this to the wood board, but this is so hard. Like it's it's not. So hard. So this is not coming off. Let me try. Okay. I'm gonna try a screwdriver. Okay, screwdriver is better. <sighs> so this was the hardest thing to take off. So the first um, board was taken off. And you can see how damp the floorboards are now. Um, we have to check whether these needs to be replaced or I don't know what, like, it's just so annoying now. This was a way much bigger job than I could have imagined because there were so many screw screws used to secure this to the floorboard and we literally could not find the screws, Um, obviously because the adhesive was on top of it. So it was a long job trying to hack off the adhesive, find the screws, use the drill to try to unscrew it and um, do as much as we can before we pulled up. So I just got the help of my husband who with his strength just kind of helped me rip it out all in one, basically. Um, yeah. Huh, so we finally managed to pull out the oh, wood that was protecting the floor. But look at how rotted it has become. So this is where the shower was. And because this is not waterproof and the um, bathroom specialist basically did not seal the shower um, correctly. So every time we had a shower, it leaked down into the floors um, and there was no grout in the tiles that he created, that he worked on. So this is how rotted the floorboards end up becoming. And because of that, it rotted the floorboards. 
which is why this hole was now made and the hole goes directly to the ceiling so every time there was a leak it went straight into the ceiling just below us which is the kitchen and leaked straight through so that's why there's a few cracks in the kitchen now that needs to be corrected but so now we have to replace this floorboard so this is how the bathroom is looking now in terms of the bathroom floor so the rest of the towels are in decent i mean sorry the rest of the floorboards are in decent condition but everything else needs to be ripped apart so we're trying to um replace this floorboard so this floorboard we want to replace um this one as well because there's a hole in it and obviously of course this one as well should place all three floor wait actually there's one two three four five five floorboards so this is pretty straightforward to do all the tools that we use will be in the description bar below we were not replacing the whole floorboard length just about a quarter of it so we found the nearest beam and we um, drilled a hole on the side of the floorboard and we used a jigsaw just to cut alongside once that was cut my husband was able to use a crowbar to lift it up and once it was lifted up like so it was really really easy for the rest of them to come up um this is quite a straightforward job but you have to really you have to make sure that there's no pipes running underneath your floorboards all our pipes were running across our walls so we knew that we didn't have any pipes under the floorboards but if you do please use a metal detector to ensure that you don't cut the pipes because that will be even worse <laughs> So the first beam has been taken off. This is what's underneath. Now we just need to take the other one, two, one, the other what, four off. And yeah, and then we can start replacing them. So once all the floorboards were pulled up, it was time to cut the new ones to size. So we use the miter saw for this. So you can actually use a sliding miter saw, which will probably be easier. You can hand saw the um, the floorboards if you don't have a miter saw, but it will just be longer. Um, we got this floorboards from being cued. So these were the marine time pine floorboards and they came in a pack of five which was perfect we ended up using three floorboards to fill kind of um four holes and yeah they were the perfect size so this is how we looked once the first floorboard was down floorboards are a bit of a puzzle so make sure you cut all your pieces first clip it together to see how it fits before you screw it to the beams we're really pleased with how this turned out. We made our measurements and double checked our measurements just to ensure we don't cut the wrong pieces. And this is the final result. It was pretty sturdy. Me and my husband could stand on it without it breaking, which is great. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. More content will be coming soon.